So happy Friday, happy Facebook land. I am super, super, super stoked to be here with two magical beings, John, which you guys know John, What's and up? Cirrus, our first ever guest on Conversation. Yay! Conversation. How's it going to be this? <laughs> <laughs> so real quickly before we get into this magical lady, just in case you've never seen uh, this Friday show before, my name is Natalie Braj. I empower people into creating lives and businesses that turn them on and contribute to the world. I like to call John the magic man, but he might describe himself. I'm John as Ashford, being John Ashford, <laughs> go see me over on my page over there on YouTube. Push the button, subscribe. A lot of magic, a lot of orgasmic fun. And here, this beautiful lady, Sierra. Sierra, do you want to take it? Take it from here? Yeah, just, you know, really quick for me, thank you so much for having me on the show. I didn't know until yesterday that I was the first guest. I was like, how could I be the first guest? Everyone should be on the show. So <laughs> I'm very, very honored. Um, yeah, just look, I do a lot of different things uh, and work with a lot of kids and families using a lot of different energetic tools. And so as a speech language pathologist, a learning behavioral specialist and feeding therapist, and so I just put every hodgepodge, anything that, I, that works, I'm like, let's do this. And part of what um, I start from is always what's right about the person, what's right about the parent, the situation, and then going from there, which I didn't realize was different until people told me it was different. And I'm starting to acknowledge that. And that's what I take it as well with our topic for today. Ooh. Oh, my God. Which is? I think it's something like how sex and dating can make you money yeah. but oh I, that's too outrageous i think that 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 couldn't possibly be the time oh my god that <laughs> might be why it took so long to go live <laughs> yes yes so so you guys know that like every week john and i have all kinds of like behind the scenes conversations and the whole point of this friday show is to bring them to you guys so right we're chatting with Cirrus, and we're going over all these juicy topics and i'm like Cirrus, like what like what do we want to create today to be and the moment she said that i was like that that's it. <laughs> that. Yeah. So I would ask you, Sirius, what do you know about this topic? What do you know about it? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is that I date and I invite everyone else to date everything and everyone. I mm -hmm. date the kids that I work with. I date my business. Oh. I date my body. Ooh. I date the earth. <gasps> Let's go on a date, everybody. Like, yes. And so that's part of what people are like, how do you have all these different things? And they think of it as separate. And for me, I'm like, I'm dating everybody. I'm, and how I look at dating is what can be created here? How can we have yeah. fun together? Uh, and when you look at that with everything, you're dating, you're dating. Them. Uh, <laughs> this is just beyond. <laughs> this yeah. is a, like, this, this is, is crazy. Is so juicy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. You know, it's, oh my God. I mean, this guy is tap into that. <laughs> so, so I will, I want to, I want to, I feel like I'm in church. I want to test. When I first met you sister, we were in Seattle. Yes. And ran, it was my very first access consciousness class other than the bar. So was, we went, my first class was dang. And she was jumping around there. She was a bunch of different people. And I was like, this is the energy is something. And then we exchanged. <laughs> oh my God. I think was it a it was ESB class. And my my body was just like when she did exchange, my body went like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> How did it go? How did it go? Yes, it went, woo! <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is I pick up that energy, what you're talking about, that when you date everybody, now some people will hear this and be like, what? Mm -hmm down your barriers and sense that with your body see what shows up for you because that is magical ass shit mm -hmm. when you said date my business i never fucking date my business i mean what would you do because you would really be like "Ooh, what do i need to do to or this? how much are you already dating your business that you haven't acknowledged yes because that's the piece is that you're setting up appointments, right? You have mm -hmm. date nights yes. with your business. Yes. You're asking it what it would like to do, what it would not like to do, I hope. Yes. <laughs> and, and the same thing with your kids. Okay, what would you like to do today? What would you like to eat today? If you actually considered it as this dating, as this co-creative process, like 
I, it's, it's kind of another way to say co-create. I just find it more fun. There's more flirtation yes. with saying it's dating because yes. I find dating fun and flirtatious and not really significant. And yeah. so it really takes away a lot of the significance from parenting, from child rearing, from working with clients. It's like, I'm dating my clients and they yeah. pick up on that and, and I can poke at them like I would on a date. Like I'm like, okay, yeah. and I can call them out on their stuff. And yeah. it's with this firm, loving touch that I do with the people who I date romantically as well. Yes. And <laughs> I am loving this because yeah, like, I've been an entrepreneur for nine years and the transition I've made dynamically, like increasingly over the last few years has been this. Like I, I always share with people like, and you probably, I mean, you probably know this here. So I know you've had a business for like a while, but it's like, and, and John, obviously like with what you do, but it's like, at some point, like the spark goes away. Like at least that's what I've decided, uh, experience in my business. Like what, like, see, like similar to relationship, like after the honeymoon phase is over, it really is this, it became this moment by moment choice of what I want to create here. That's fun. And so I've been weaving in a lot of the pleasure talk. So very similarly, but it never dawned on me to actually do it in some of the ways that you're describing. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so orgasmic and so expanding and so juicy. And like, and from that place, it goes from a, like, I got to get this done. It's a have to, to, and people are attracted to that energy dynamically. And I want to take it back to the first thing you said, because it's been popping like ever since you said it, because I know there's going to be some questions about this. Please tell you me because I don't even remember already. It's you already said, <laughs> you said I date, well, something to the, the, the degree of, you, uh, I date my clients, I date the kids. Now to someone who doesn't actually get what you're saying, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you provide more information on that? Because you're actually not dating children. Like, let's just be clear. <laughs> yeah, not romantically. Yeah. But yeah, with energetically, like, it's, I'm going into the, the question, like I mentioned of, so what can I create with this child? How mm -hmm. much fun can we have? What's actually possible here? Um, and the other key piece that I actually just got a, a beautiful example of this week with a client I have that is a 10th grader with autism, and I see him in his home with his mom, and I call him affectionately my boyfriend and his mom totally loves it. And, and, and it's that energy. Like we, he sings to me, he gives me a hug on the cheek, you know, a kiss on the cheek and hugs, which is a very recent thing. But part of that is this, I, I walk in and I don't project at him anything that we did from past sessions, from what he's done with other therapists. It's a clean slate every session. And his mom did, and the other therapist that I was working with, cause I was asked to observe her with him to give her feedback because she's been pre presenting with some behaviors with her that he doesn't show with me. And she's like, I know he's working in a different way with you. Could you let me know what else I could change? And I love that she was open to that and asked for it. And I told them this, that I don't come in with these projections about him mm. and he picks up on that. And so in, it, it, part of what happens is that we can make faster progress because he's already been evolving and changing since the last session. So I meet him where he's at now, instead of being like, okay, this is where we were last week. Let's start there. No, it's like, where are you are? Where are you right now? Yeah. Yeah. And then let's move forward from there. And, and, and then it's like playtime and I'm willing to change and pivot whatever materials I had planned. I change it depending on what he's going, what's going on with him now. If I don't have it with me tactily, I find it online and I just roll with it. And he loves that because I, and I can tell, and he's just like, he literally is like, thank you. <laughs> or wow. like, you know, like in many ways. And he's so verbal now. A year ago, he wasn't using any sentences, maybe one or two phrases, yeah. one or two word phrases. And now he's using like six, seven, eight words in sentences asking for what he wants. And a lot of times it's the fact that I acknowledge that what he's asking for, even wow. if I'm not going to give it to him right away, he's like, oh my God, you heard me. Oh my God, I'm being acknowledged. That's the other piece. And so when you have those elements in dating everything and everyone, mm -hmm. coming in without ex projections and expectations, going in and seeing, okay, what's possible today? How much fun can we have? What else are we going to do? And what else can we do? And what else can we do? And I literally say that in the sessions. I have what else is possible on the walls mm -hmm. in his house. And I have how does it get any better than this on the walls. And I got that idea actually from Tiffany Thien, who did that in Florida. She's a wonderful teacher. Yeah. She did a video about it. And I want to acknowledge you wherever you are, Tiffany. Thank you for that. And so it's totally ramping up because he sees that every day, all day. 
And then I'm also coming in with this energy of like, so boyfriend, so how's it going? How much fun are we going to have? And mom loves it and gets it. She knows that I'm not being inappropriate with him. Right. 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 Uh, But that's how I come in with all these interactions, including with my business. I had a a meeting with um, some hosts that are hosting me in the UK Mm. uh, coming up. And I was like, hey, ladies, what's going on? And we're flirting. And and they call me a minx. And I was like, I'll receive that. (laughs) I'm a minx, you know? Wow. Uh, But it's it's so much more fun. You are brilliant. Like, I mean, I just (laughs) really, truly want to acknowledge, like, your brilliance. Guys, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a whatever like your title is this woman is like dropping nuggets gold that Man. Her whole Man. life like holy shit wow i'm starting to acknowledge that more and more like how different i am with this stuff and and also like leaning in more because mm-hmm. yeah, i think with all of us i, I love your doc- talks about pleasure natalie and i've talked to you a lot about creation and bodies and, and youth um, John, and with all of that, there's this like you start realizing a little bit of where you have a gift and capacity, and then you're like, okay, that's true, huh? Let me lean in. And yeah. so that's what's been starting to show up with me with this dating talk. It started maybe a couple months ago of that this is really how it's not necessarily a filter that I see my whole life, but it's it's a way that it's a platform for me to create is this yeah. dating. And as soon as I was like, oh, that's true. I started leaning in and it's like with every, I just let it permeate through everything else. And then with that, it's been. Well, my question for you is, are we dating you today? (laughs) (laughs) Am I that lucky? (laughs) And I'd like to think I'm that lucky. (laughs) Yes. I'm really lucky. (laughs) I don't think it's so lucky that all of you on Facebook, I mean, this is just, how does it get better? And you know something, it really makes, I mean, like, by you sharing that, I'm sitting here, it's like, as I'm working on my project of writing this book that I'm writing, uh, what would it take for me to start dating the process of writing this book? Actually, like, the times making time set for a date. You never, I, at least I don't, set up a date and don't show up. Mm-hmm. There's been times where I want to write my book, but I'd be preoccupied. I really like that. I'm going to take that and run with that system. Yeah. yeah, would you not show up to date for someone else like you? So the same thing with your creations. Yes. And I'm wondering for all the people watching, what are those things that they that they haven't been showing up for, that they haven't yeah. been dating, that they thought that that's not even something that you could date, that they could. Yeah. And what would yeah. that create? Absolutely. That'd be amazing. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Oh, sister. I'm- Wow. Thank you. We might have to have you back on. I, I we'll definitely like a have you back on again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is just too much. Uh, how I can have more of too much. Of yes, I was get more than Yeah, I want more, more, more. Oh how my. Like it? <laughs> wow. So Cyrus, where can where can people find you if they want to yes. play with you more and date you more? Um, my website is empoweringlightlanguage.com. I'm also on Facebook. You can find me on there. I have two different business pages. Just search my name, Siri Sorivas Verdejo, and um, you'll see that. I'm on all the social media, YouTube and Instagram. If you message me directly or email me at empoweringlightlanguage at gmail.com, I will send you all this information. If that's one-stop shop, that's easier. I'll have one of my people send it to you as well. But uh, I'm very visible if you're willing to search me out and I love chatting individually and and seeing what you're getting from whatever we're talking about I love also doing different videos on oh let me tell me more about this and then I'll just do a video on that so if you let me know what you'd like to see more content on we can do that I'm sure you guys are letting Natalie and John know I hope what other things they could talk about for their show oh yes we love that yes Yeah, so guys, she's a very generous dater. Reach reach out to her. Yes, yes. <laughs> More fun than you'd imagine. Oh my God, I am, I mean, John, you know I love being with you every week, and Cirrus, yes. truly my pleasure, 100%. Thank you so much, thank you both. So, and thank, thank you, you guys for tuning in today. So grateful for you. If you like this, please share it out. This is relevant to like, no matter who you are, where you're at, all the things, and uh, we'll see you next Friday, same time, same yes. life. Love you, people. Peace. Bye.